can't wait to start this Sunday. It's a very special day, a day all about creativity. So what's actually creativity? In my opinion, my very own definition, it's when you create something you like so much that you're willing to share it with everyone. So I think the creating something that you like or love, I think that's the easy part. Creating it's clear the liking and loving part is is the part that some people forget i'm 100 percent sure if you're doing something you do not like and love there is no way to be really creative that's already like the the first part of the secret to how to be creative the second part has to do with the the sharing so let me try and give you an example almost forgot my mask. Um, this place right here is a place for exhibitions where people showcase their creative works to the public. It's a group exhibition about cutouts and there are some really fascinating pieces of art in there. And I have to admit, I'm a little biased because my mom is part of that group exhibition and her works are showcased in there. But I don't feel like giving up. Right here you can see really good it's all cut out of paper and right now the light is hitting it so you see the shadow and over here those three are fairly new those are sculptures made out of actually the stuff that you use for 3d printers but drawn by hand <laughs> she's the one that's making these cutouts yeah these cuts out which what i did and it's there are many artists like six artists uh, yes. we are taking part in this exhibition and it's I, uh, the first exhibition since in this corona yeah for me yeah and this is the first time that they showing here in dusseldorf um paper uh, uh, cut out yes and now we're celebrating a little dinner some drinks, oh, yeah. food. Breathing underwater. The next big question is actually, can you learn being creative or is it something you just have or you just don't have it? And not only my mom is an artist, my dad as well. Let me actually show you his stuff. Again, over here, my mom's work. Down below in the office, we got some of my dad. You could now argue that since both of my parents are artists, it was very clear that I will do something in a similar direction. But I actually personally strongly disagree. First of all, no one in my family, and especially my parents not, is in any kind of way musically trained, can play any kind of instrument. Everything that I know about music production, I've teached myself, same for DJing. So that didn't really translate. And my, my drawing skills, <laughs> I showcased them in yesterday's video. Wow, my parents would be so proud of me. And in a lot of cases where parents are artists or doing something in a creative field, the, the kids actually do usually the opposite because they know how hard it is. And that is one thing where I have to admit that it teached me a lot. As a kid, I grew up with both parents, artists, self-employed, fighting, struggling, selling art, like making a living. I know all of that stuff. And it's also a certain lifestyle, having no boss, doing whatever you want, whenever you want, but also having to work a lot more than any other kind of person. You learn that. and. 
I think what combines us, we're driven whenever we really like something. And that's again, what I said at the very beginning, like creativity for creativity, you have to like something enough. So I personally think creativity is something you have to learn yourself. You have to like something, be interested in it, know a bunch of stuff about it, and then starting making your own from the knowledge you have, changing it, changing it until you get to a point where you like it enough to share it with other people. Because that's like that's 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 our reward. Whenever you are creative and you share it, and and people like it or don't like it or react in any kind of way. I think that's a big, big part of creativity. It should evoke emotions in other people. Otherwise, it's really just boring and pointless. Another huge point, and bear with me, because it might be weird f first, but just think of why people at the very, very beginning started drawing in caves. I personally think, yes, creativity, yes, creating something, Yes, telling a story, evoking emotions, but maybe, I'm not sure, we probably will never find out, but I also think a huge part of being creative is making something that lasts longer than yourself. Because we all, we all die, we all have a limited amount of time on this planet, and by creating something that stays longer than us, and that is relevant to other people by evoking emotions in them, we kind of stay a little longer on this planet because everything we create is a little representation of ourselves. Every single time I'm here in the studio making music, I just touch the keyboard, turn some knobs, do something in the computer, that's me doing it. And it's me doing it based on everything I've learned, everything I've experienced, how I feel like in that moment with full intent. Like every piece, the little bit in my music, I think about it and I decide if it stays in there or if I remove it. Even if I do something accidentally and it wasn't done with intent, it's still my intent to leave it in there. So it's like a little part of me that hopefully stays longer than me and hopefully people will still enjoy it in the future. I think this like capturing yourself in a time capsule for the future is a huge part of every creative person. And some people have that desire more than other people. They might be driven more towards creativity than other people. But I think at the end, it's something you definitely can learn. It's all about just being interested, that initial spark, and then going for it. For example, my entire career started with the stupidest thing ever. I think I was like 14 years old. I was at a friend's place in the basement. His brother had DJ equipment. A record player like this one. Not with those fancy color changing LEDs, but I was so fascinated by the needle being on top of a record within grooves and just like spinning. Can you hear that? I don't know, that, that was like my, my initial thing that got me started. I was fascinated, I was interested, I was very curious how all of this works and started buying record players, buying records and then got into this and, and like informed myself and knew more and more and more about it. It's a rabbit hole, there's a lot to learn about it. One day DJing wasn't enough and then I started music production, which is like a whole nother story, but that's, that's how it gets started. Because I hear a lot of people saying, I'm not creative. I can't be creative or I have a tough time being creative. And I think what you're lacking is finding the one thing they love and just starting making it, informing themselves, knowing a bunch of stuff about it. So basically not being lazy. And usually when the interest is big enough, the lazy part disappears. Then you have to stick to it because if you switch whatever you do every couple of months, there is no way to succeed. And then the last part is making it so good that you're so proud of it that you just have to go out there and share it with everyone. I'm falling in, so help me out, cause we just living like it's all beneath.